this tool is better than ChatGPT and Google combined? I believe it is. I'm Tim, and I've been exploring AI tools to help you get the best out of technology. You might have heard of Perplexity, but haven't been convinced yet to try it out, but it's actually super easy to get started without even setting up an account. In the next few minutes, I'll walk you through Perplexity AI and show you why it might be your new favorite tool. In this video, I will try to convince you that Perplexity AI is the only tool you need to do research going forward. First off, what exactly is Perplexity AI? It's an AI-powered search engine and answer engine that provides concise and accurate responses to your queries. It was founded by former AI researchers from Meta and OpenAI and has gotten investments from leading figures at Y Combinator, Figma, NVIDIA, and Jeff Bezos. What makes everyone so excited about Perplexity? Perplexity AI uses multiple leading large language models, including GPT-40, Cloud 3.5, Sonar, Mistral Large, and its own custom models to deliver precise answers. It's designed to bridge the gap between traditional search engines like Google and AI chatbots, offering a more efficient way to access and synthesize up-to-date information. Unlike traditional search engines, Perplexity AI offers real-time information by indexing the web daily, ensuring the latest news and updates. One of the standout features is its conversational interface. You ask questions in natural language and Perplexity responds in kind, almost like having ChatGPT sit on top of Google and do your searches for you. Perplexity provides inline citations, allowing you to verify information sources directly, adding a layer of trust and transparency often lost with ChatGPT. How does it really compare to giants like ChatGPT and Google? For example, if you ask Perplexity about a trending news topic, it not only gives you a concise answer, but also pulls in the most recent and relevant articles from across the web. With Perplexity, you can ask follow-up questions and keep the conversation going without losing context. Perplexity AI offers multiple search focus modes. Whether you need academic papers, YouTube videos, Reddit threads, or more, it's got you covered. If you opt for Perplexity Pro, you get even more advanced capabilities like file uploads, image generation, and access to multiple AI models. What makes Perplexity so great is that it not only understands complex questions and can give you a concise, up-to-date answer, but it also provides links to all its sources. This transparency allows you to see how it came up with the answer, making it much less of a black box than ChatGPT. You can verify the information and use the provided sources for your own articles or thesis. Now let's see Perplexity AI in action. All right, so let's go to perplexity.ai and does what you'll be greeted with. So here you have your search input and let's just ask a question. So what is quantum computing? And obviously there's some typos in there, but it, it gets it right anyway. And here we get our answer. So we have a couple of things that are of note. So you get LLM interpreting your question, which is nice. And then it's actually searching the internet for answers. So here are your sources. So you can click on the sources. It shows you the sources that it used to generate your answer. And it gives you a answer like a human would. And here it gives you a description of the topic. And it cites the sources in line, which is really great because you can check for yourself if you trust the sources and also, you know, copy them for your thesis or homework or whatever. So what's really nice now is you can ask follow-up question, something you cannot do in Google. So let's ask, can you give me the latest developments? And it knows what you're talking about because it remembers your last question. And here it tells you the list of the latest developments. And again, you can see the sources and check for yourself if you trust the sources. And now some very useful features. Um, you can search for images, videos, and also generate an image. So let's click on search images. So this is just an image search relating to the topic. Here are some videos you can search on the topic, break, breakthroughs in quantum computing. And you can even generate an image, but you need the pro account for that, which I didn't sign up for yet. So now something super nice is that there's different search modes. It's also That's also called focus modes. So let's open a new thread. So up top here, new thread. Here you can see there's a button set called focus. So let's do latest developments in quantum computing. And for example, we could focus on academic literature. So let's choose academic. Other things are social, video, math, and writing. Social might be Reddit, threads, and similar. Videos, you know, might be YouTube but we want academic papers because we're writing an abstract for a conference, for example. So let's go there. And here you can see that the answer has become much more technical. Quantum compu computing has seen significant advancement in recent years with the relevant spanning various experts of the field. And then here's some rather technical details. We can check the sources. 
So for example, we have Semantic Scholar and Archive, which uh, the scientists among you know as one of the leading platforms for scientific publications in physics, engineering, and computer science. So let's do the same thing for another focus. So let's do again, latest developments in quantum computing. And we want social. So let's see what this gives us. So as you can see, the sources are now Reddit mostly, and this is much less technical than before. And we can check the sources and we see different Reddit threads. And this can be extremely useful because for example, results on Google might be out of date, but discussions on Reddit might be useful to, to find a new tool. So for example, let's do best AI video generator. And we'll do social because there might be discussions on Reddit about the topic. And there we go. So the sources include threads on Reddit on best AI generated video, best AI video generator for faceless channels, AI video generators, and so on. So here are the pieces of software that I suggested with the uh, sources. And this seems fairly useful. Capwing, Runway ML, ClipTalk Pro, Lumen5, Pictory, and so on. So this is fairly useful because you won't get these answers from academic papers, for example. So now as a YouTube content creator, I might want to look for YouTube videos on a certain topic. So as you know, I made some videos on Crew AI. So let's look for latest videos about Crew AI. And we're not going to do social, but we're going to do video. Let's see. And here we go. We even get the thumbnails. And here are some key points on the latest developments for Crew AI. And all the sources are from YouTube. So all these are videos from YouTube about Crew AI and perplexedly knows what they're talking about. And here, for example, it's referencing a video about Crew AI and Rack Retrieval Augmented Generation by a YouTuber called Brandon. And lastly, there's the option to generate images, same as with a ChatGPT Pro subscription. Um, I don't have the subscription right now, but you can ask Perplexity to generate images for you, and then you just click on Generate Image. But of course, it prompts me to sign up for the professional plan. Now, something very cool. So let's go to one of these articles. So for example, we're going to go to this archive article and download the actual PDF. So we're going to save this. And now we're going to open a new thread, or actually we can ask a follow-up question and attach a PDF. So with the free version of Perplexity, we can do this just three times a day, but I'm going to attach this paper and ask a question about it. Can you please summarize this paper for me? And there we go. This took around five to 10 seconds, explains the paper to you. So it read the paper and it explains its contents to you. Now the sources are just that paper. The paper title quantum computing hardware is in the cloud should put comput computational chemists care. Um, and then it tells you the key points, quantum computing and chemistry, types of quantum hardware, supercomputing, superconducting quantum computers, and so on. So very, very useful if you don't have time to read the entire paper, but you might get more insights than just reading the abstract. So if we could, for example, say, can you please tell me more about the challenges, which is point four here. And it still reads through the paper and gives you more details about the challenges. So it's like chatting with the PDF document with the scientific article which is much quicker than reading the entire article yourself if you just want specific answers from the article. Okay, so now here's a great one. Let's say you're a tech person, which I know many of you guys are, and we have some bug or some software issue that we want to solve. And instead of going through many, many search results on Google or reading different forms like Stack Overflow to find the answer, we can just paste our error here. So let's say we have this error, which is an error that some Windows users might see. Pip is not recognized as an internal or external command, so Let's search for all. And then here are some suggestions as to what the answer might be. And I, the great thing is that you can ask follow-up questions. So let's say you don't know what Anaconda is. So let's say you ask, I don't know what Anaconda is. And it will tell you what Anaconda is, tell you the fee features and so on. And then you can say, Conda install didn't work. And it tells you potential solutions for your problem. So 
This is really great. It's like having your own personal tech support for your own bugs. And now I want to show you some advanced features, which I think is super neat. So aside from the home area of perplexity, there's a discover area. So you click here on discover on the left and it's basically like a newsfeed tailored to you. So you can make it yours, save your interest and look at these articles. And those are perplexity generated articles about certain topics with the sources about the topic. So this is really great as it's, you know, sifting through the internet to give you relevant information about a topic that interests you. Another really cool feature you can use is the collections feature. So if you go to the library here, it shows you your past queries and you can click on collections. So let's say I want to go to Indonesia this winter, Indonesia trip, add an emoji. And the prompt is, I want to make a travel plan for a two month trip to Indonesia to go surfing and hiking, let's say. And then let's get started. So what are the best times to go surf in Indonesia? And here it tells me that the dry season from April to October is the best, but I don't actually want to do that. So I'm going to ask a follow-up question. What are the conditions surf-wise in the winter? And it tells me the swells are a little bit less consistent. There's some region variations. So maybe I'm going to ask for the best surf spots for intermediates. And here it suggests a couple of spots. Let's specify specifically intermediates wanting to surf in December and January. And here it tells me exactly what I want to know. And if I go back to the Indonesia trip collection, I can now ask other questions. What are some nice hikes in Bali? And basically I'm collecting all the information on my trip to Indonesia in this collection. And here are the threads. And then maybe I also want to look for hotels and generally plan my, my stay. So I can say, what are the best options for a solo traveler wanting to surf, but also work remotely. Okay. It understood Oslo traveler. I'm going to specify I meant solo traveler to Indonesia. Here are the best destinations. So maybe it can help me find a hostel. Let's try. What are some good hostels for digital nomads in Bali? And it tells me the best hostels for a digital nomad in Bali. And now I can go back to my collection and I have all the threads that I just started. Nice hikes in Bali best times to go surf in Indonesia and the best options for a solo traveler wanting to surf and work remotely. And I can also invite people to collaborate on this collection. So we can, let's say I want to do this trip with a friend or my girlfriend so we can collect threads together. And the last thing I'll just mention for most of you, this won't be important, but if you're a developer, you can actually test the performance of different language models with perplexity in the perplexity lab. So all you have to do is go to labs.perplexity.ai. You can communicate with uh, perplexity in the playground and test different LLMs against each other and time their performance. So let's try Tell me about space travel, about inter interstellar space travel. So by default is using Llama 3.1 Sonar. And let's see how it's doing. Okay, so you can see the tokens it used, the tokens per second, and the time it took to give you an answer. So we can do the same thing in, let's say, Mixtrel, and we'll just copy the same question. And as you can see, it was quicker, but used more tokens, and it used more tokens per second. But in general, it was quicker with Mixtrel, and you can compare the answers. If you have any questions or comments about Perplexity AI or want me to cover another tool in the next video, leave me a comment.
If you want to understand how LLMs work and maybe write your own AI code in the future, check out my video on how to learn machine learning. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Thank you.